Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to be filming this today. I did get this idea from AA Stews, and if you're not following them on Instagram, you need to stop what you're doing right now and go follow them because they post such amazing content, especially for flight attendants and especially for future flight attendants. If you are watching this, they post stuff to kind of help you with your interviews as well. So it is for everybody who just loves to travel. Now they did ask if a flight attendant wouldn't mind posting themselves or videoing themselves tying their scarves in a few different ways. So I thought, sure, why not? So in this video, I am going to be teaching some standard ways to tie your scarves. Now a disclaimer, this is absolutely not every way to tie your scarf. I mean, Flight attendants are some of the most creative, like insanely creative people I have ever, ever met. So this is by no stretch of the imagination gonna be every way to tie your scarf. But if y'all do like content like this, I don't mind posting like a part two and maybe have some more creative ways to tie your scarves. But this is definitely gonna be like your elementary level to kind of help you think of a few different ways or just like basic ways to tie it. Now with that being said, let's just go ahead and get started. So when you first get your scarf, it is going to come kind of in a package like this usually. And I know you're thinking like, why is that still in its package? And that is because I have way, way, way too many scarves, okay? Now, if you are like me and you cake face the makeup on, I will say you can probably wear your scarf maybe two times in the trip because you do tend to get makeup a little bit on the scarf if you're wearing it directly on your neck. So I usually like will wear it one way and then reverse it and kind of cover where like the makeup wasn't folded over, which I will definitely show you what I'm talking about. But if you are on like a three or four day trip, I would recommend that you bring two scarves. And if you don't wear a lot of makeup, especially like not on like your neck area, which if you're wearing makeup, it should be on your neck. But if it's not on your neck, then yeah, you'll probably be okay with just bringing one scarf. Now, if you are wearing makeup, it is super easy to wash these and get the makeup right off of it. I have never had a problem getting the makeup off of it, but usually you're not doing your laundry on the trip, so it's always good to have an extra. But I will show you when you have the package right here, it's just like a clear little seal thing, so it's really easy to just kind of peel on up and then take the scarf out of the bag. Now, obviously when you get it out of the bag, you're going to remove this tag, but I actually like to remove these tags as well just because when you're folding the scarf in certain ways, I don't like that to be visible. And actually they like attach them really loosely, you can see, so it is actually really, really easy to just take some scissors and just kind of clip it. Now obviously be very, very careful. You do not want to cut into the scarf. So I do have some scissors right over here, so I am gonna be taking those and getting rid of the tags, and then go ahead and show you how to get your scarf tied. So this first way that I'm gonna be showing you is kind of my standard way to tie your scarf. And it does go around the neck, but there is a part that you can kind of pull to like loosen it in case it gets a bit too tight. But I think it's just a very classic look. So let's go ahead and get started. When you first start, you're going to take your scarf and you're going to kind of lay it out and flatten it. And the sides don't matter as much as the middle, but you do want to take this top part and bring it all the way down to the base. Now, if the scarf is dirty and does have makeup on it on one side, this is the part that you'll get rid of it. So if like the makeup's on like along these edges, you'll just fold it into the scarf. So then you'll flatten it out and then take the top and go one more time down. And it'll just be like this. Now here, I'm going to take it and put it on myself so you can see. Okay, so now that we have the scarves in like our four piece, kind of like this, you will take this around your neck and then switch the scarf ends on both sides. So it's kind of tied in the back and then obviously you'll flip your hair out. And then I just adjust this so it fits really nicely like this. And then I make it as tight as I kind of want. And so this usually where it's like a little bit like this is what's good for me. So next you will take this and this one is going to go over this one and then take it and go up. So then you can tighten it like this and you want to make sure the whole thing fits pretty well. And then it's kind of laid flat like this. Now you can kind of wear it like this, but the reason that I don't recommend it is as you're working, you're moving around a lot. So it does seem to come out and then you have to adjust it and it's, it's kind of tedious, so I don't tend to keep it like this, but I do like to knot it one more time. So I do take this top piece and push it up, and then the bottom piece goes over, 
around and kind of under and then I pull through and kind of adjust this so it fits really nicely like that. Now this is the one that I was telling you about that it is really easy for you to just do like this and you'll have your ID badge on but if it does start getting tight in the air right here you can pull it and kind of give yourself some room you see what I did there and that way you can adjust this back piece or if you do want to tighten it just go ahead and keep giving it a little bit of a pull and it does go back so it is fitted again so this one I do like because when I get into the air and I blow I can pull it out or I can just push it in depending on how comfortably it fits so this is my favorite it's my standard my kind of go-to so if you like this one great if you don't let's keep going okay now for this next one it is going to be pretty similar to the first one that I just did except you are not going to see the knot it is going to be just like a straight band with them tucked underneath so that way if you don't tend to like that knot showing there is a way to cover it up so it does kind of start out the same way as the other one. So you're going to go ahead and start with that two fold over just like this. So I am going to start just from here. So if you need to know how to redo this, just go back to that first video and start here. So now that you have this, you're going to do the same thing and kind of put it over and then switch the sides over and pull your hair out. So now with this one, you want to leave a little bit of a room right here because it does need to cover a half knot. So you'll just want to leave a little bit of room, but not too, too much. So on this one, you do want to take the longer end, so I always check, and then go underneath and over. That way it kind of shortens it and makes them pretty even. And then you'll want to pull them to make sure that they stay pretty even. Now you only have the, the one knot and that's it. And then you're going to take this part again that you had and push it all the way over this front knot to kind of cover it up so you don't see any of that so you can just keep tightening it and adjusting it until it is completely covered and then just like this and pull it out and then it sits kind of like that so here's like a closer look so it sits kind of like this so you don't have the knot sticking out and this is kind of around your neck and I don't have a mirror in front of me so I am using the camera so I'm sorry about that so then it sits like this and your badge will go underneath again and you don't have the knot it's just kind of really classic looking now I will say the reason I don't tend to like this and I tend to just go with the knot in the front is this does have a tendency to fall apart in the air and it does this comes up and this comes out and this was actually the look that I was flying with a lot at the beginning but then I realized when you're moving so much in the galley this one does tend to fall apart so yes it is very classic looking it is very pretty but just be mindful you're probably gonna have to fix it a lot in the air okay so now the third way and you can tell my neck is like stop it girl but the third way to tie your scarf and I really call this like the lazy girl way because this is pretty much if I'm just working like an all-nighter I have minimal rest or a red eye or if I'm in a rush this is how it goes so you're kind of gonna pop the collar up and then this is also a way that if you are wearing makeup and you don't want makeup all over your scarf or you feel like you're you're choking I know a lot of people don't tend to like turtlenecks and don't tend to like scarves on their necks because they feel like they're constantly choking this is a great look for that so you're going to go ahead and take this and go completely underneath all the way around and then lay your collar flat and then from here you're going to kind of just adjust these out so it's not like too sloppy and then you're going to tie once and then completely tie it again so then it sits just like that knot make sure that these parts are even and it'll sit like this and then I kind of fluff mine out and then I'll have my badge underneath it so if you are feeling like you're really really tight up here this is a good look to just kind of be fluffed out and kind of get it off of your neck so this is look number three okay so for look number four this is a very fast way as well so if you're in a hurry this is also a go-to of mine so do you remember when we had it folded into fourths like this We'll just unfold it one time so it's only folded over one time and then kind of take it over your hand 
and then adjust these so they're pretty even. And then take this side with your hand and put it over so it's just sitting like this around your neck. Now take both of these ends and in the hole right here, go ahead and tuck them in. Now you will wanna go ahead and pull your hair out. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and adjust your collar out so it can sit nicely in there. And then obviously always go back and prep everything and make sure it's laying really nicely. I mean, you don't wanna look really sloppy. And then adjust these and kind of feather these out. That way it'll give like a more full effect and then put your lanyard on. Again, if you don't like the scarf really around your neck, this is nice because it kind of can loosen it, but if you completely are like, I don't want it around my neck, the other one is going to be your fast go-to against this one. Okay, now for this last one, it is called the Half Windsor, and I will say it's probably one of the more difficult ones because you need to get the sizing on the scarf really right at the beginning. But if you do not like the scarf on your neck, this is a really pretty option that's much better than just the knot in the front. So for this one, you're gonna go ahead and start again with that four fold. So the very same fold where you folded it once and then twice at the beginning, this is where you're gonna start. Now for this one, you're gonna go ahead and pop your collar up again and then have this sit all the way underneath and over and then put the collar down. So it's tucked really nicely. Now here's the difficult part that makes this one pretty hard is one side of the scarf needs to be much longer than the other side. Now, if you do not get this part correctly, it does look really, really messy. So that's why I say if you're new to tying scarves or you don't have a lot of practice with this one, this probably is not going to be your go-to look. So for this one, you are going to go ahead and take the longer end and fold it underneath the shorter end and then take that longer in and go through the necktie right there. And then kind of fold it just like that. Now once you're here, you're going to take the longer end and go back through into the front of this one. And then you see how I placed my two fingers here? So you're gonna go into the front and then go back up the necktie kind of like this, and then push it underneath where your two fingers are. So then you'll just adjust it, tighten it. And then it kind of has the little like men's tie look. And again, you just fluff it out and make sure everything's sitting really nicely with your lanyard. Now I will say some people can probably do this a million times better than me, so I do apologize, but this is the best that I have. Okay, so I hope all of you really enjoyed this and learned some new ways to tie your scarf. And I would love to know which one's your favorite or if you have a different one that you want me to try, that would be awesome. Again, that first one is my favorite. It is my go-to. I can do it really quickly now and be right out the door. So please let me know if y'all do like content like this and wanna see more and give this video a thumbs up and I don't mind making a part two with a little bit more fancy elevated ways to tie your scarf like bows and frills and everything like that so just go ahead and let me know again I want to thank you so much for joining me and I do post a lot of travel videos and a lot of flight attendant videos so please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this kind of stuff thank you so much for watching y'all bye